The name Ed Sheff Stadium serves as a fitting tribute to the man who helped shape the LCSC Warriors into the national powerhouse they are today. You could tell Ed was very driven from the start, uh, very demanding. Uh, it wasn't easy and he wasn't going to make it easy. He wanted pro his program to succeed. He wanted this valley to be, to be an important part of collegiate baseball. He wanted those things to happen. There, there were times that uh, it was extremely frustrating and, and stressful, but um, at the same time, the end result was well worth all the work he went through. Here it is, six in a row for Ladies and gentlemen, if you please. And if you play well, you'll win. And that, that was our whole goal all year, not to get on a crusade that, that we didn't have anything to prove. All we need to do is go out and prove we could play a good ball game. He made his mark in the record books, over 1,700 wins and an unprecedented 16 NAIA World Series titles. Over the course of 30 consecutive seasons, the Warriors won at least 40 games. It was more than being a great recruiter and a great game manager. He set the standard of what would be expected in order to achieve greatness. He's an incredible person, he's an incredible motivator, he's an, uh extremely intelligent and uh, he's passionate, energetic. Uh, he had so many qualities, he's just a one-of-a-kind one human being. It really didn't matter who you were, if you're a walk-on or if you're a full-ride uh, scholarship guy, he treated you exactly the same, expected and demanded the most out of you every play. And it wasn't just every day, it was every play. He held players accountable, he was tough on players, but they all knew that he really cared about them. He talked to them, he taught them, he pushed them as they were baseball players, and then as soon as practice would be over, he could transition into, into the person and care about the person. He was really soft-hearted in a lot of ways. A lot of people wouldn't probably see that characteristic, but he really was. His program spawned 72 NAIA All-Americans. 114 of Chef's players were selected in the MLB draft, with 16 going on to play in the big leagues. But no matter when players finally hung up their cleats, the lessons that Chef taught them shaped them to be better men. I think the biggest lesson is that you can actually expect more of yourself than you, you think you can. I think Ed always tried to take a, a special individual and, and, and even get more out of you. The vast majority of, of people go on to have a tremendous amount of success um, in, in their career field of choice and um, I think he has a huge, huge contribution to, to everybody who played here. It carries with you long past picking up ground balls and, and hitting. It's a, it's a mindset that just be consistent with your actions every single day, um, consistent with your work ethic. You know, and things like responsibility and work ethic and, and being able to do things when you're down and when things are going bad to be able to come back. Ideals that have been passed down to every player that has worn a Warrior jersey since. Whether on or off the field, Chef's contributions to the LC Valley and baseball at large will continue to be felt for years to come. It's something that's always with you. Uh, it, it's, it, it was part of him is what he gave you. My dad and my uncle, they, they always spoke so highly of him. Like he was such a big part of their lives and to this day they thank him so much for everything they've done for him, turning him from just a ball player to actual man, and then it's just awesome. He's always here. I mean, walk by his picture every single day, and and uh, he demanded the best out of the players. He demanded the best out of co his own coaching staff and himself. And, and we we try to hold those values near and dear. And we still do a ton of the the same things that uh, he he taught for 30 plus years here.